News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Right now, we're working to find out where millions of dollars went in Brownsville. The city released a nearly 70-page forensic audit alleging that Brownsville Public Utility Board customers paid $118 million for a project that never ended up happening. The audit named multiple people, including the BPUB CEO and current and former Cameron County elected officials. We'll keep you posted. 26-year-old Normando, Normando, that is, Uribe, has been arrested in connection to a murder in Cameron County. Police found him yesterday walking near a canal in San Benito. He's accused of killing 41-year-old Jose Angel Bravo. He was found dead earlier this week in the driveway of a home in Los Fresnos. Sheriff's deputies say he had been shot. This morning, Uribe is at the Cameron County Jail, and the investigation continues. In Hidalgo County, voting machines were put to the test yesterday. The Hidalgo County Elections Department checked them for logic and accuracy. This type of testing is common before any major elections, like the upcoming November midterms. Remember, the last day to register to vote is next Tuesday, October 11th, and Election Day is November 8th. And it's going to be another warm day across the valley. Highs will reach the mid to upper 80s under mostly cloudy skies. There's a small chance for rain, but rain chances increase tomorrow. That's your News in 60. Have a great Thursday. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.